Hello and welcome to another live code hangout. Today we're going to work on the Western Friend website. Got a bug report here. Let's see, I should actually have this labeled as a bug. Our multimedia library is not working as, as it's supposed to. So let's see here. We can dig into it. I've got a branch created. Let's see here. Get our database running. Not sure what happened there. Oh, okay, okay. The command is wrong. In our develop pi, I can fix that real quick. And I'm not going to um, stage these in a different branch and open a bug report for that. I'm kind of trying to move a little bit fast. Let's get the thing running and start developing. So create some initial content scaffolding. A super user. And we'll get the server running. We'll run localhost eight thousand. And welcome to Wagtail. Okay, ah, yes. Okay, so I need to set the development environment as true or debug here. So I need to essentially duplicate this or copy the contents and create a new file. I'll come up here and just hit this new file. And it's Django debug equals true. And save that, restart the server. There's probably a way to uh, get these resources working without debug being. Well, it's because it's looking for an S3 bucket. All right, so our debug is running better. Helper over here. We can log in. go hop back into the wagtail admin uh, so you will notice here that this library media archive uh, is empty no items found and we have these search facets here I'm going to try um, to get these to work but basically what they so I need to populate the facets I can do all that in a minute uh, they allow us to narrow down library content based on some sort of taxonomies from the Django or the uh, Drupal website, we had defined several taxonomy uh, collections as well as a free text search. So we come back here to the Wagtail admin. Open it to the left of there. Go to the library and we'll just start um, something. I don't have any factory methods, I should invest in that, but I haven't done that. So the library has audience, genres. I'm going to do a couple of them for each 
category that way I can test I don't have template tests in place which and the content scaffolding would be also a requirement for the template test so and it's a bit of a kind of conundrum but nonetheless we're going to do manually to manual tests and uh, debug and what I'll do is just create two articles or library items one and two and then for each of them I'll add the corresponding taxonomy items or these faceted these search facets one and two respectively almost there very cool got everything set up now we can add a library item I think this is all in lead to yeah, just add one here uh, let me double check here it might just work with without a uh, author and without any particular content one 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 topic one okay try publishing that's good so we can view that clicking there so that's the idea they'll be sorted and um, you can then browse people can like discover content organically by browsing through related item collections we now have one item so let's just repeat that real quick looks good Publish, refresh. There we go, we got two items. Now, if I select audience one, I should only see one uh, item. So that's the problem. And in genre two, if I search for one, you know, that's the deal. So none of this is working. However, And searches and preserving the facets. Yeah, it's a it's <laughs> this is sort of hand rolled faceted searching, and it's really two forms. I think this is a form and this is a form. I haven't worked on this code in a long time, so let's go ahead and uh, find out what's going on. Now, I, I actually did make some changes recently. I can't remember if they were linting related library models. So essentially, this is served from a wagtail page instance. Now wagtail is built on Django, but adds some helpers to make Django development a little easier. Django development is fairly easy once you get the hang of it. And there's a lot of depth to it, of course. I'm still learning every time I code. But typically with MVC applications, you need to define a model for interacting with the database, some views to fetch and just render data uh, and that controller for business logic in between with Django you develop models views and templates so the view will assemble the data from the database and render it into a template and you have to wire those up through URL definitions and things like that wagtail combines a lot of that in under one umbrella they call it a page and it automatically wires up a similarly named template so library index page is going to have a template here 
we'll open that and then we can see that how it works. It's just HTML with a little bit of templating uh, sugar, syntactic sugar. Um, very minimal, so it's not like mixing in pure Python or pure JavaScript where you can just do anything and you get really messy and spaghettified code oftentimes because you can just do anything. There is mostly conventional markup here and some ifs, statements, loops, but beyond that, uh, there's like template helpers and things like that, uh, but it kind of gives you fences or within which you have to stay. So this wires up a template, automatically generates an admin interface. So when I add these um, items, an index page or a library item topic, uh, the index, the interface is defined based on fields and Wagtail does the um, admin interface for us. So everything beyond here. So everything in here is generated based on code. I didn't have to write any of this, really cool. Then it wires up a URL based on where this page is stored in the tree. So you have a root page, which in our case is slash, it's the root level of the website, and then some trees that are built there. So you can see it's a page tree. Our root is essentially this, uh, what contains this welcome page. The welcome is the first page you see when you load the site. It's called the home page in code. And there's a lot of the children pages and let's see they're created an interesting order here it is the library page is a child of home page it has child pages and basically these library items are there uh, are located there in the library page as children as well as the facets and you can see that reflected in the url structure so root URL, then the library page, and item one. Auto, oh, that's auto-generated. So now that we're at the library item index page, which is here without this stuff, we'll come back to this. Wagtail follows the Django convention and lets us get some template context, some data it can come from wherever. Uh, there's no real limits. Typically, it comes from a database like usually via the object relation mapper ORM Django ORM so here we're just grabbing authors to populate this field which is not working that's interesting so there's some underlying problems with this view but here's an example of where we grab the template context and add an audiences list here that's how this is generated similarly genres mediums time periods topics and authors are all generated here and um, the data is fetched here and then they're passed into the template over here and we loop over each of them and create them as an option within a select list so it's pretty conventional HTML now we're allowing people to filter this and search and we want to i like to use the url as the, sort of keeping the search state up there so you could create a query and share a link to that and get the same results back rather than using some kind of client side uh, state management or something like that why not use the url as the state the search state so that's what we're doing here now here's our first squiggle red well we had a red, yellow squiggle somewhere red squiggle here okay this attribute is on the wagtail model but that could have changed so that could be part of the problem however however the library items are coming through and the live ones are coming through so I can actually verify this by creating a new library item, either just right here as a child, and create a new child page, or through the other interface. Unpublished. And this one we will just save it as the draft. 
that means in wagtail parlance it's not live yet so if I hit refresh here we don't see it so that's a good so this is working our library items are so this squiggle we can kind of ignore unfortunately we have to do that in a loosely typed language where things are iteratively typing being typed and not everything has typing support that's cool but but the facets aren't unpacking how I was expecting them hence our filtering is not working so let's go ahead and um, let's add a, a breakpoint here and if I run this in debug mode let's see if uh, I just set up my development environment and see if we've got a debug profile for this run in debug Django Maybe it'll work. Now if I refresh, same page, but now we get a breakpoint. That's so amazing. At my day job, we can't do this. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, working at like a huge company with like a really high volume product and project and uh, don't have basic uh, developer experience where I can just put a breakpoint and <laughs> inspect the code. It's a travesty, but nonetheless, whatever, that is what it is. So what I'm wanting to look at here is the facets. What's going on here with our facets? It's an empty dictionary. So there we go. Something's wrong here. So my breakpoints continue. There shouldn't. Ah, uh, of course, of course, of course. No, it is an empty. Uh, Wait a minute. It shouldn't have been empty. No. Let me scoot you over a little bit there. Get out of the way a little bit. We don't need this. I'm going to put that back here. But if I refresh this page, our query does have a dictionary. Our query dictionary does have um, a key that is corresponding here. So that is working. But our facets code is not. And the breakpoint hit was here, interestingly. Or no, no, are we here? We're here now. So I'm getting myself confused here. We'll continue that. So when I call it here, at this point, we have a query, right? It's, yeah, it's a dictionary. And so, What maybe is happening? It's not getting into this inner loop because these are wrong.
no problem and this is correct though I'm just we need to go into the item aud audience and query against the title field and I suspect it's the same case here so what this is doing is allowing us to look at a to filter or basically look at a particular field that's associated with the library item and that field is a foreign key so it's able to go into the, the related model Well, at least these should work. Topics is a bit challenging. I'm gonna have to look this up. We can ask ChatGPT for help, but this could be relating to Django 4. So let's ask ChatGPT. I think this is just going to be topic title. That's my intuition. And the deal is these are many to many fields. So there's this intermediary table that is essentially a join table. And I have to go into this table then the subfield, and then one of its fields. Let's see if this just works, and I'll come back and ask ChatGPT in a moment. In a moment. So now if I save this, uh, we should get something. Pause there. And there. Okay, it takes a bit, a bit longer. All right, so we get here, and now we're going to step in to this, and here we go. Item, audience, title. Now th these are just my best guesses, but nonetheless, this will be one of the facets, and it'll end up in the facets. Yes, that's good. So that worked. So clear. Yeah. So this just needs, I need to change the slug here. Let's see. Well, I just want to link to the current page, so there's probably a way of doing it. It can be relative. You can create a relative link to the current page using the request object attributes. Specifically, you can utilize request path. There we go. So they trip there. I think I've hard coded this link here on the library index page and there's this clear button right there that is 
Oh, triggering a JavaScript. No, there it is. Never mind. I've hard coded it, so that was clearly not a good idea. Yeah, that way I don't have to worry about the. Um, basically, what I was looking at here is Wagtail lets you change the page slug independently. It generates it, the page slug based on the title. But this way I don't have to worry about the slug at all. So I can just refresh, step through these things and uh, probably take those off for the time being. Now this clear button links to the correct slug here regardless okay so we got item one item two so audience two yeah clear genre works medium works time period i'm just assuming works the b part will work topic one that was a guess that works i'm surprised okay so Ah, so I don't have the author. We will need an author, but oh, let's see if this works. All right, so that's one. That's not here anyway. Let's get the author really quick. So if I go to the Wagtail admin, wow, my screen is glitching. It looks fine in uh, OBS. That's really strange. This OBS is reading directly from the output. There's something wiggled loose real quick. It's either here. There it goes. Technical difficulties. All right, so we'll associate this item with an author, which I will just need to create. Under community, people, author, one, or person one is fine as well, person one. Saving it, saved. And then I can go back to the library, items, and edit. Of course, I could do person one, person two, and assign each of those. But I think this is sufficient. Publish. All right, so now if we just refresh and uh, clear, Clear them. I need to unify these at some point, but right now we're just trying to launch. Right, same problem. So that's another example. I've got these duplicate forms. They're not quite unified. Let's do facets search and then. We have a clear button here. Nice, small detail. I like it though. Over here, refresh that after it loads, clear. Yes, good. Okay, now we got person one there, so I should build, and there we go, person one is now being populated. If I search, oh man, Django is just, so well designed and consistent over the course of its evolutionary life cycle, the history of this <laughs> very mature framework, you can kind of start to guess and you get a, an intuition for it. Really grateful for that. Now, all of those were in the facets code. Good. Uh, the only other one is the actually the search, the title search. I think it should just be 
title instance of contains. Okay. It should be insensitive. T W O. All right, all right. Let me just clear that. What might be happening? This is getting set. See, that's correct. All right, so what I'm thinking is the empty string is is the problem. What are we doing? Query equals. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the dictionary. All right, that's all. So, so, so this one. Right. Mm, mm, mm. No, no. Filter facets. Empty, but what if I do this? Yep.
I suppose this will happen often. I'll just put a little item. Uh, Thanks to Copilot. Now, empty strings faulty, faulty. Very good. I'll leave that comment in for my future self. I believe it should be working now. Continue. Title contains two search. So I do need this, essentially. Makes sense, title I contains, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure how this all got messed up, but eh, nonetheless, here we are. Play, play, play. I believe it's just going to work. This filthy query string facets, I can probably put this in that helper function. That's sort of the relating to filtering. But first, we filter the ones that are empty. Whoops. Ah, shoot. I don't know why it's giving me squiggles. Time to get back up and running. Refresh. Item two. Boom. Okay. That's it. Someday I'll unify these. I would like to to, to unify them at least into one form. Perhaps on the side.
the problem is this is automatically going to filter for convenience but if it does that on an event changed i would need to figure out the correct event so that it doesn't uh, filter every time we type uh, and that's why they're separate right now that's one of the main reasons also the existing website has them in two separate areas so i'm just fixing a bug here it's a bit out of scope uh and a couple of little bugs on the way clean things up relative you know automatically generated links essentially fix facet um, probably don't need that extra line of code I think let me double check here this I think that's about it. So yeah, about 40 minutes. Uh, I spent a lot of time today just getting my environment set up. And I wanted to use my keychain here. So we've got a pull request. Very good. All right. Well, this has been another live code session where we've been working on the Western Friend website, fixing a relatively small but important bug, high priority bug in our library faceted search. We are in staging. So hopefully, if things go well and we don't find more showstopper bugs like this, we should be able to launch shortly. Stay tuned. We'll see what we uncover as we continue to set up the staging site and do one more audit of the content, make sure importers are working, make sure the features we're expecting are there. It's that we didn't have any major oversights. There's always this uncertainty, but we're kind of committing to keeping our staging Time frame short, focusing on essential things and leaving open tasks for post launch. If you'd like to get involved, we've got a lot of different tasks. Here you can check out our milestone, probably post launch at this point is a good place to focus. Any of these that are done during staging are very much appreciated, but uh, we have more time to work on these post launch issues. So. Hopefully I'll see you around the GitHub. Okay, well, hope you're doing well and have a good day.